The Wiki Quiz is brought to you by Road Meal, the only meal replacement made up of ran over animals. Hunger is a great sauce. No, seriously, you need to be starving to death to even drink this. Hello, 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 and welcome to this new fucking thing we're doing, the Wiki Quiz, the game show where the questions are sourced from what every single teacher in every single country would call a non-scholarly source, and uh, yeah, they've got a point. Joining us today are Evan, <laughs> who is screaming from the uh, bi- abyss of Illinois, USA, I believe. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, this is absolutely true. true. Yes. Then we have Dank from the cold... Northernly parts of Finland. How are you doing today? That is at the moment uh, literally on fucking fire. Yeah, because in the summer it goes up to like zero s- Celsius and they can't handle that shit. So, well, uh, not cold in that sense. Fire. It's, it's, <laughs> imagine it being at 21 Celsius. 21 Celsius? Ooh, damn. We burning, boys. I'm wearing that a. Oh, God, my keyboard is having a seizure. <laughs> and then uh, that as well. Yeah, man's got a murder glove, so he is ready to cut a bitch up. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to fucking... My keyboard is having a seizure. <laughs> well, you better get that sorted, because we're about to start soon. Um, and then, from the uh, really uh, weird parts of Byron, Georgia, we have the Mario Bros, a.k.a. Jimmy and Derek. How are y'all doing? Hello! Hello. Y'all are playing as a team because uh, Jimmy isn't confident enough to play by himself, which is fair enough. Uh, but yeah, this is a game about general knowledge, guessing, and sometimes being absolutely clueless. But it's also about having fun and being able to discuss, even though this is, you know, technically a competition. So, feel free to crack jokes and discuss the questions at hand. Can I make a, can I make a joke? Yeah. General knowledge, something I ran out of the moment I graduated from school. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> Fuck general knowledge. Uh, um, and gosh. mine just continues to grow. Yeah. Now, all, right, okay, all three of you have been provided with a buzzer, and you will be using that to answer the questions that are coming up. But remember, you can only answer once, and you won't be able to answer the question Again, until the either the question is done or a hint has been provided, then you will be able to buzz again. Victor, I just realized something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how will you know which of us is uh, answering? That is our. We are labeled. That is the website known as Buzz and Live. Our current sponsor. <laughs> no, not our current sponsor. No, not sponsor. <laughs> no, but yeah. Just joking. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Everyone has a buzzer, so they can use that to answer the question. Does anyone want to no, use the buzzer? I don't need the buzzer, though. I mean, how would you know which one of us is because, answering? We have the same buzzer. Yeah, because uh, or which one of you? Well, you you go as a team, and uh, we'll just uh, one of you will either have to answer. Wait, does that mean technically we can have two answers? Because that would that would. Give everyone else an unfair disadvantage. Uh, no. Coca-Cola. No, it's only one per team. Uh, but once uh, a hint has been given or the question is over, then you can buzz in again. Um, does anyone want to try to buzz in just to make sure it works? There you go, Evan just did. And someone else just did as well. (laughs) Donk! Well, Victor, do you uh, hear, like, the buzzer? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. That's that's uh, <clears throat> less editing to do. Yeah. Now, you don't lose points for a wrong answer, so even if you're uncertain about an answer, do go ahead and buzz in and try to go for it, because you might be correct. Who knows? But you don't lose right. points for an incorrect answer, so don't be discouraged of not answering if you're uncertain. That should be a thing on more game shows. Yeah, it I should. Hate that it, it should. I hate losing points. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it either. But, yeah. Are you all ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the first round, which is detail deception. Now, I have selected a random article from Wikipedia, and I've cert- I've censored out certain details. I will read the article until we come to a missing detail, and you will have to figure out what that detail is supposed to be. Now, buzz in if you think that you have the answer. Uh, there will be two hints available if you find it. The- the uh, question difficult. 
Um, but the number of points you can earn will decrease for each hint you're given. So, five points for a correct answer with no hints, three points for one hint, uh, tr uh, yeah, for one hint, and uh, one, one point for, point two, for, for two. two. Yeah. Y'all understand the rules? Uh -huh. Right, should we move on then? Let's go. Yes! Right, so, right. the yeah. order gold that has been selected is... Pumpkin seed oil. <laughs> what the fuck? What a great start. I see. <laughs> so pumpkin seed oil is described as, you know, something that is used in food. So let's do the also, most let's do the most obvious thing and start from the section culinary uses. So y'all are ready, right? Yes. So I will I will start yes. reading now. Culinary uses. Pumpkin seed oil has an intense, nutty taste and is rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids. Brown oil has a bitter taste. Pumpkin seed oil serves as a... Hmm. Now, I want to know, what does pumpkin seed oil serve as specifically? Buzzers are open now, so you can discuss the question and answer if you think you have it. Okay. Derek, Jimmy, what do you think the answer is? I'm gonna go ahead and shoot in the dark and say it's like a replacement for vegetable or peanut oils if they're allergic to it uh it is it is uh it's not correct but it is definitely used as a sort of you know if, if you'd like to, to use it as a substitute uh of so any a substitute for something yeah because well there, there are different types of this sort of thing that it is used as it's like categorical in a sense uh, but you're incorrect on that one, so we're gonna clear the buzzers. Uh, buzz in if you think you have the answer. Now you can't. Can... Close. Hmm. You are closer. Um... Do you all want a hint? Uh... I'm still thinking. Yeah, I I'd like a hint. Okay, everyone agrees that uh, you want a hint. Mm -hmm. All right. So first hint. It's a sort of edible covering. Covering. Okay, Evan. Salad you... dressing. That is correct. It is indeed oh, used as a salad dressing. Pumpkin seed oil oh, wow. serves as a salad dressing. That's three points for you, Evan. Congrats. Nice Yay. <laughs> I, I was dead ass. I was dead ass thinking it was glaze or something. Well, I mean, <laughs> salad dressing is. I mean, you can definitely call it a glaze. You glaze it on a salad. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> what, what the fuck? I mean, yeah. To a great <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can call it a glaze. You can call it a glaze. Right, are you all ready to move on? Now, as you can see uh, from the sensor part, it does continue. So we'll continue reading. Yeah. Okay. The typical Syrian dressing consists of pumpkin seed oil and cider vinegar. The oil is also used for desserts, giving ordinary, hmm, a nutty taste. Now, what does pumpkin seed oil give, quote, a nutty taste? Specifically a dessert. Mm. Hold on, hold on. This is not about the uh, quick question, but... Oh. Never oh, mind. hold Not on, hold on. Derek has, uh, well, what do you think the answer is? Uh, it's another shot in the dark, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, when you say it gives a specific dessert a nutty taste, the first thing that went to mind for me is either pie or ice cream. Well, which one do you think it is? You have to choose either one. Ice cream, ice cream. That is correct! It is vanilla oh, oh ice God. cream! So big congratulations there. That is five points for you. Nice. That was a smart guess. There could guess. be like a fucking villager at this point <laughs> with the fucking question marks. Fucking her. 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 <laughs> now, yeah. now, fun her. fact, fun fact, her. fun fact about ice cream. It takes about twelve pounds of milk to produce just one gallon of ice cream. That's around five point four kilograms of milk. Damn. So that is a shitload of milk for that tasty nutty cream. Uh, no not, not the uh, nutty uh, pumpkin seed oil, but, but, but we will soon get to the production of pumpkin seed oil with this next one. Oh, I, th I thought you were going to get to the production of the other kind of 
Oh, oh tasty. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> another game show that's entirely. That's another game show entirely. The Wiki Quiz NSFW edition. <laughs> yes. Pornhub exclusive. That is definitely yeah. not going on YouTube. <laughs> mm. That just reminds me of the Jack For every Bob wrong Bob answer, you have to strip one piece of clothing. No. Nope. <laughs> that's just reminds me of the, of the Jack Bob. Nah. Fuck it. Thank you, Stark. All right, well, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> next round. But we will indeed go to uh, this next section, which is production. This is a little tougher, so uh, I wish you good luck. Oil from pumpkin seeds is extracted by hmm or by hmm methods. Once the oil is obtained, further specific extractions may be done, such as for cardinoids. Now, how is... Now, we're only looking for one of the methods. You only need one correct answer to win this entire thing. But how... Oh, question. Yeah, go ahead. What happens if you get both of them? Um, well, we'll only accept one correct answer. But... Do, like what happens if you were to get both of them for fun? Um, sure, fuck it. Let's do double the points. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Dude, let's just make it so that, uh, it, fucking, it, 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 one, uh, one correct answer uh, for either one is just uh, the points. Yeah. But for both, you get the fucking, the fucking credit for just fucking for, being a fucking guessing genius. Boat. Yeah, but both of these are a little yeah. tough, so... I'm only I can, looking I can for. I imagine like getting one of them is normal points, getting both of them is double. Yeah, but I'm only looking for one of the methods. I uh, already have a guess, but I can't buzz. Yeah, hold on. Uh, give me a moment. Now, again, how is pumpkin seed oil extracted? Buzz in if you think you have the answer. No. Right, uh, Derek. What do you asked. What do you think the answer is? I'm guessing one of the answers is like it's crushed out of the seeds. Uh. No, no, it is kind not. Like a, it's not. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the those giant mortars or whatever they're called. Yeah, Water but but that yeah. would be more like crushing it, not exactly like you know, like that. But uh, True. yeah, but that's not that's not correct. But um, it is it is a sort of extraction. Hmm. Y'all need a hint. Yeah. Oi, Evan, what do you think it is? Blender. Bl <laughs> or blended, I guess. <laughs> uh, that is very much incorrect, and I will lock it there and just give y'all a hint, because that was <coughs> too shit. Um, right. <laughs> so, for the first item, LLE is the abbreviation, and for the second item, the fluid state of a common gas. The what? Fluid state of a common gas. Dang, what do you think the answer called. is? For the second item, uh, the fluid state of a common gas. The only common uh, gases that I at least know of are in the air, and those are would be like oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, argon, or, and whatever. I'm going to have to. Uh, do Do you think you have, have have like the correct answer? Not exactly a correct answer, but I'm going to be putting a uh, blank shot into the. Into the dark and into the say dark. that it's either one of the one of the yeah, what is it? One. Well, like, well, yeah. I can, one. well, I can tell nitrogen. you, well, I can tell you, it's uh, that's um, nitrogen is incorrect, but I can tell you, uh, it 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 oh. it does appear in and the air. Dead. It it does appear in the air, uh, sometimes a bit too much. Um, does anyone think they have the answer? Uh, Derek, yes, what do you think the answer is? Can I, is it carbon dioxide? Uh. Uh, it's yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's supercritical carbon dioxide, uh, which is uh basically a liquefied carbon dioxide. Uh, so I'll, really? I'll, I'll, I'll give you yeah. I'll give you. Ain't I'll, that supposed to be then dry ice? <laughs> dry ice is solid. Carbon dry dioxide. ice is solid, and like freezing, bro. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. But yeah. this one is the liquid. Yeah, this is a liquid. Yeah, there's liquid. My head's going sicko mode. <laughs> yeah, but the first option was also LLE, which is also known as liquid liquid extraction or solvent extraction, which is the correct answer here, 
or even partitioning would be an acceptable answer. So it's, be, it's a method to separate a compound based on the solubility of its parts, while super, uh, supercritical carbon dioxide, yeah, it's CO2 in a fluid state. Uh, so, way, you know, you don't know don't what? drink it, obviously, but, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> hey, it would be impossible to drink it anyway. Liquid, or, liquid carbon dioxide is only stable under extreme pressure. Yeah. Storage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Victor, do you want to know what two answers came to mind when you mentioned that, um, that, that it's, like, the liquid state of water in the air or whatever? Yeah. The two answers that I could think of was either, like, fucking water vapor or the process of it becoming water again. <laughs> right. Yeah. Condensation. Condensation, yeah. yeah. Condensation. Those were the only two things I could think of. I did not think of carbon dioxide. Right, all. yeah. That's all good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, with that one, with that, we'll continue on to the last round, of, or last, you know, question for round one. Wait, was that three points or one point for us? That was three points because you had one hint. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, let, yeah, let's continue. I'll keep reading. Seed types and oil. The oil appears green in thin layers and red in thick layers, an optical phenomenon called hmm. Pumpkin oil is one of the substances with the strongest hmm. So, what is the optical phenomenon censored here called? Wait, we can't go for the second one yet? Uh, the second one is the same as the first one. Oh, it is? Yeah. Hold on, Victor. Okay, Evan has the answer, uh, he thinks. What do you think the answer is? Uh, liquid density? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's incorrect, yeah. Um, but, but, it's not probably, it's probably not too far off. Um, I'll, 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 because of that, I'll, I'll, I'll take it to the first hint, which is that it's a phenomenon where the hue of a substance is based on concentration and depth. Definitely not potency, then. Hmm. Does anyone think they have the answer? Hmm. Well, I was thinking potency, but I know that's not it anymore. Yeah. That's more smell. Yeah. Hmm. Do you need another hint? Probs. Probably, yeah. So, I'm gonna do it a bit Jackbox style with the uh, gibberish question. So, it rhymes with, I don't have rhythm. I don't have rhythm. I'll try to help you out a little bit. It does have something to do with chromaticity. I'm a science lover, but I ain't got nothing. Also, you locked the buzzers, Victor. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Derek, what do you think I'm the answer is? I'm a wild guess here. Chromatic refraction. Chromatic refraction is not correct. I think we should take the L on this one, boys. You want to take the L on this one? Right. So, no one thinks they have the answer? No. No, okay. Yeah, th this one was a bit tough. It's dichromatism. Oh! oh. Yeah, oh. which is a phenomenon wow. where the hue of a material or solution is dependent on both concentration and depth. <laughs> Just oh. dank in the back here. God damn. Fuck. Yeah, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. I don't think I even learned about that. <laughs> even in even in my college uh, physics class, I didn't learn about that. So. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, <laughs> I read about. I've never heard about it before. So I was thinking, oh, this is a tough one. I don't even know if they're gonna get it right. But it is a pilot episode, so you know we're testing out the format. So nothing's gonna yeah, be fully perfect. That's fair. Yeah, testing the waters. Testing the waters. Besides, never wanna test the waters with both feet going in. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Get them all. That's the end. <laughs> that that is the end of round one. Woo! And with that, the First score... foot in the grave. <laughs> yeah. And with that, I can tell you the scores right now. Derek is leading in first place with eight points. Jimmy is... Uh, not not Jimmy, because he's on the same team. But <laughs> but Evan is uh, second place with three points. And Dank is last with none. I feel bad for you. None! It ain't over, though, Dick. It ain't over, up. though. It ain't over, though. But... First, let's... <laughs> Y'all didn't even see what I did. Bruh. But uh, before we go on to the second round, let me tell y'all a mad fact. So, during researching, I tend to find out some things that are either insane or hilarious or both. So, 
here's a mad fact I learned during d- researching for this pilot. Um, okay. Fish can get drunk. <laughs> yes, you heard me correct. Yeah. You heard me correct. And there has been a. Right. There's ha. <laughs> get, get a fish and get it drunk. <laughs> no, no, no. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. There has been a study done on this. There's been a there's been a study done on this, and it's fucking batshit insane. Now, before I get into this, don't do this yourself. Uh, fish die from overdosing on alcohol, and it's a very slow and painful death. So don't do it yourself. It's just cruel. Some. This was done for that's, research. That's how you get arrested. Or you'll, for or you'll yes. anger Pete. Or you'll attract the anger of Peta. Yeah, exactly. Peta attracts the is, anger of any, everyone, though. I'm yeah. pretty sure Peta are are um. What what is the word? Oh, um, no. Hypocritical. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, they're hypocritical because they do more uh, animal abuse than actually. Fucking yeah, us. yeah, it's it's <laughs> fucking insane, bro. Yeah, but uh, also kind of ironic because I'm watching anime uh, while we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 yeah. why you're on zero right now. You're too focused on the anime. Yeah, th- that's why he's not buzzing in. He's just not giving There's a, a fuck. D- yeah. I literally don't give two fucks. I'm literally uh, half in the audience, half in this fucking show. Yeah, that is fair. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, read this little... uh, Yeah, let's read this bit of research, because it's mad. Now, a team of researchers led by uh, Mauricio Forfiri, associate professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering and director of the NYU Polytechnic School of Engineering's Dynamical Systems Laboratory. Woo, that was a long title. Uh, They did so by letting them swim... They did, they did so by letting them swim in a solution of ethanol. Uh, <laughs> Wait, ain't, ain't ethanol uh, supposed to be flammable and also... I yeah, think so. like 200 proof alcohol levels, so that's 100%. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now... The solution ranged in alcohol concentration from 0 to 1% ethanol, and some fish got stronger solutions than others. Uh, after a fish marinated in the sauce for five minutes, researchers dropped it into fresh water with a school of sober fish and monitored the response to their boost up buddy. The results show that, much like humans, when zebra fish have a slight buzz, those exposed to the 0.25 and 0.50% ethanol concentration, they throw their inhibitions out the window. Uh, <laughs> fuck inhibitions. <laughs> they, sw- <laughs> they, they swim faster and show little fear or hesitation. And when they're around their peers, they go even faster. And surprisingly, the sober fish increase their speed to keep up. The tipsy fish also showed signs of leadership. Its assertive movement steered the direction of the entire group. When the intoxicated fish turned, so did the others. Researchers think this may be because they were influenced by the fish's alcohol-induced boldness, which they might have interpreted as a sign of leadership. Damn. That's something you probably didn't know. So, uh... uh the day when, uh, an army of just fucking... Of just drunk fish just start attacking fucking Great Board Shark and just kill them. <laughs> like, oh, let's man. kill them all, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Now, with that, let's move on to a more media-related round. Round two, Trope Tracker. Right, so we're suddenly joined here by Aria, who is now a contestant. Hello. I'm dying. Uh, New challenger! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Aria is uh, Pascal, for those of you who don't know. She's uh, had a name change, so, y- you know, there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we respect. Yeah, big respect. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're moving on to round two, which is Trope Tracker. So, I went to TV Tropes, which is a humorous wiki listing tropes that's found in common media. And they're also their meanings. And uh, some of those tropes have examples of those tropes being, you know, used. Um, so what I will do, I will read the examples of some tropes, starting from downplayed, which is when the trope is used minorly, in a minor way that is not completely obvious. Then straight, which is when the trope is clearly used up front, and exaggerated, which is when the trope is used extremely. Now, you will have to guess either the name of the trope or what the trope is meant to represent. Uh, the latter examples will be shown if you find a question difficult, but it lowers the points you can earn. So five points for no hints, three for one, and one for two. Again, these tropes will hopefully get harder to guess, so try to keep up. Right. Y'all get it? Y'all ready? Yes. Mentally or physically? Uh, that is a good question, but we are going to move on anyways. 
That is a great <laughs> question. Not part of our show, though. Yeah. Don't bother buzzing in. <laughs> yeah. But let's head on to trope one. Downplayed. There's some attraction between single father James and governess Mary, but she, it doesn't go anywhere. Does anyone think they have the answer? I know what it is, but I don't know what, what the trope is called. You can you can name the you can uh, buzz in if you think you know the meaning of the trope or what the trope is supposed to represent in ah. media. Mm. <sighs> and ain't it obvious that James is such a common name for single people? Oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, Jimmy, you have an answer? <laughs> Wait, hold on, I, I couldn't hear because y'all are laughing. Excuse me? <laughs> what did you say, Jimmy? Uh, first off, mm. and, <laughs> <laughs> But that wasn't why I was. Yeah. <laughs> as much as that would have been great. Um, that would have been a waste of our buzz. Yeah. Just, bust, yeah. <laughs> just bust a button just to flip you off. <laughs> <laughs> But no, in all serious no, if, in all seriousness though, uh, so there's some uh, attraction between single. Um, is this when like both parties are interested in the other, but they're too shy to say anything? Uh, it is love related, but it's not that. Um, but I will say, NPC energy be like again, again. The the important detail is single father and governess. I will clear the buzzers and let you answer huh? again. What the hell's a governess? I need to actually use my brain for once. <laughs> <laughs> do all, I have not. Uh, do, you all, do you all want to know uh, the uh, next example? Do you want the straight example? Maybe. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Straight. James falls in love with the governess after noticing how much his kids love her. Straight, not me. <laughs> that is true. Seriously, what is a governess? This would help a lot. Well, it would be important. It would be good for you to know what the meaning of governess is. Then. Oh, Dank, what do you think the meaning is? I think I got something, but I do not know if it is um, what it is. I think it is, but <clears throat> I'll just ex uh, try and explain it as much as I can. Go ahead and quickly. Yeah. Basically, the single uh, between the love attraction between the single founder and the governess is basically the. James basically falls in love uh, with the governess because uh, he thinks that uh, the said governess needs a father figure for the kids. Or like the governess, huh? the governess needs a father figure for the kids. Uh, I think you mean she can be a mother figure for the kids. Yeah. Mother figure for them and James himself be a father figure for them. I will, I will give you points for that. It's, uh, so... <laughs> so, the trope is Mary the Nanny, which is a romance between a single parent and someone hired to care for the kids or a house. I will give you that. What's a governess? A nanny. Um, someone who is hired to take care of the kids. Ask Google. Ask Google. There you go. Ask Google. We're not allowed to, do We're not that. Allowed to use Google. Now that the question is over, you can. Yeah. Hey, By Google, definition, a governess what is a governess? was an unmarried woman who lived in someone else's home. Well, there you go. Yeah, a governess okay. is a Thank woman employed are, yeah. to take care of the house or kids. Yeah. Hey, Google, stop. Right. Yeah, and as you can see from the exaggerated, it says, James has fallen in love with the governess and the nanny and the maid and the housekeeper. Bruh. That's yeah. some uh, Bruh. spicy sexing. But yeah, thank. There's your first three points. I hope you enjoyed them well. <laughs> Yes, but yeah, that is indeed the correct answer, or at least close enough. I'll ac I'll accept it. Um, right, y'all ready to move on to the next trope? Uh huh. Hey, thank you. Got points. Nice. Yes. Right. Let's move on. Uh, this could get possibly this could get possibly long, but I feel like this one should be easy. So let's go. That's what you said, <laughs> bro. Trope two. <laughs> Downplayed. The equipment is only awesome but impractical, or a useless, useful. Spell instead of truly useless. Huh? So an awesome, uh, so awesome but impractical is a trope in and of itself on TV tropes, which is awesome but impractical, or a useless, useful spell. This just sounds like you're putting a bunch of words together. This sounds like nothing to me. Oh, Evan has buzzed in. What do you think the answer is? Um, an oxymoron. Of uh, can you can you describe? 
Um, or s- situational usefulness. <laughs> situational <laughs> usefulness. We're not guessing meanings of words. <laughs> we're guessing tropes. We're guessing tropes. Shh. I'm. <laughs> Sir, I'll, 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 sir, I'll, 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 I'll say you're wrong on that, and we'll open up the buzzers again. So, so is the, is the, is the tropes like with the equipment or with the, or with the, the entire thing? I don't understand what you're wanting from us. It could possibly be equipment, but it could be anything, really. <laughs> that does not help. <laughs> do y'all, do y'all want the uh, straight trope? Yeah, uh, please. Right. Straight. In the action the RPG fuck? game Chronicles of Troperia, Alice and her groups of adventurers can defeat a number of progressively difficult bonus bosses, culminating in uh, Quasarx, the D- Dimension Lord, which is the hardest boss of the game. For each of those victories, they get a cool statue built on the capital city, which only serves for decoration. There's also could be a good uh, another one for, uh, straight for the downplay. One. Okay, oh, Derek. Derek, Jimmy, what do you think it is? This sounds like, this basically sounds like what it means to be a completionist. Working for a reward that means nothing. That is correct. Cosmetic award oh or a reward that serves no other purpose than to be a proof of an achievement. I, I bl- knew being a completionist would help I'll give day. you three points for that. <laughs> now, can I, just, can I just read out the long exaggerated one? Oh, Please, no. <laughs> in Chronicles of Troperia, after clearing the bonus dungeon, defeating that one that one boss, fulfilling each one of the citizens' requests, unlocking all the ultimate weapons, some by a series of con- contrived ex- interchange <laughs> sequences, <laughs> catching Thank at you. least one of each fish species in the world, taking a photograph of every single monster in the game, including those annoying one-shot chance ones, and collecting all the 500 moon pearls, your reward is a different title screen. You can scream now. Oh my god. <laughs> Generator, please. Uh, thank you. Please, 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 I had please. to change the font size to be able to fit this in the fucking. Because we have a Google can... slide that you're not seeing, which has everything on it for why, the people. Why can I imagine in the video, like, you play that entire clip, but it's, like, sped up? It's just That's like, what <laughs> Dank wanted me to do, and I'm probably going to do that. Editor B Suite, speed Editor, that up. Editor, please fucking speed that up, like, double. <laughs> it just makes it sound like you know you know those like ads of like medicine and they have to say like uh, side effects of this may then, include cancer yeah, and then slow down my scream and layer it on top. <laughs> that exactly. <laughs> Put reverb behind it. Just fucking Paul Stretch or whatever the fuck that's called. Wait, you want to you like, you want to know what would be an amazing edit as you're reading that in two times? What would be? It's just a bottle of that trope just slowly sliding across. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's three points for you, Derek and Jimmy. So we move on to the next trope, if y'all are ready. Three points for Gryffindor. I knew Gryffindor. being a would help me in something. Next one, please. Yep, next one. Let's go ahead. Oh, number three. Downplayed. Minor changes and innovations have been made in the kingdom of Tropeland, but not many. I will open up the buzzers now. That's like... That, that, that oh, tells me that... nothing. Yeah, that's just a statement. That, that just that, tells that tells me nothing. That's just that's, a statement, that's, <laughs> that's, It's not me who has written this. Who the that's, fuck that's wrote it then? Someone on TV statement. tropes. <laughs> who the fuck put it on a paper, you cunt? Me! <laughs> me! Me! I have it on paper! Why the fuck do you have it on paper if it's like shit, cunt? <laughs> I don't know. Again, this is a pilot episode. We're, we're testing the waters. Fucking... Right, do you all want the straight one? Yeah, because this this is just... This, this is nothing this but a tells statement us nothing. to me. It's gonna be this more is nothing but a than me. Watch out. Uh, yeah, this next one should help you a bit. Straight. The Kingdom of Troplin still has the same tech, borders, and ruling dynasty as when they were founded a thousand years ago. Jesus. Evan, what do you think it is? Fucking hell. Uh, stagnation. I will give you a correct answer for that. The trope is medieval stasis or a society that has remained stagnant technologically and perhaps culturally for a long time. I'll give you... I'll give you... Uh, you know what? You, you know what? Because that first one was tough for y'all, I'll give you five points, Evan. Yay. It only seems fair. It only seems fair. <laughs> hey, Victor. I hey, Victor. For Griffin. Yeah. That explains why American school systems suck, because they're still <laughs> using the ones for the Industrial Revolution. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Fuck this shit on map. But, oh no, I Dank love, cracked his I neck. Love how, I love how the history nerd is the one that gets this one right, though. <laughs> Excuse me? 
<laughs> Eat this shit, I'm out. You have offended Exile this him. boy. <laughs> anyway, so you're ready for the uh, fourth trope? Yeah! Let's go. Right, now, I had to censor part of downplayed because, well, the answer was there. So, uh, right. you'll just see some blanks. Downplayed. All right. Alice believes in putting blank before blank, but she's usually smart enough to arrange matters <laughs> so she doesn't have to choose. Hold on, hold on. What is it, Before like? we start answering, before we start answering, this literally fucking goes like with cars against humanity. <laughs> Alice believes in putting dick before ass. No! <laughs> <laughs> you could use it as that. Okay, Evan, what do you think it is? Pearls before swine. No. <laughs> That's incorrect. Very much incorrect. Oh my god, Evan was so confident and was just shut down. <laughs> yeah. He was so confident. Oh god. All right. The buzzers are still open. What do you think it is? Wait, can we have a little more time to think? Yeah, I go don't ahead. Give up yet. Go ahead. Jeopardy music in the background. Okay, Dank, what do you think the answer is? I think this is what I actually think it should actually say, but uh, I have no idea if it is. I'm just going to be reading the downplayed uh, quote. Yeah. Alice believes in putting milk before cereal, <laughs> but she's usually. <laughs> <laughs> That's incorrect, but I like that. I like that. That's great. That's great. That's great. That Wait, is really so great. What a fucking bitch. This is just. <laughs> This is just turned into point. this is this is just turned into cards against humanity. Y'all want the next hint? <laughs> Fucking joke no, point right before, there. Before you put the next hint, can I? Uh, since everybody's been putting in their own joke, can I put a joke in real quick? Go ahead. Alice believes in putting in bros before hoes. Nice, very nice. <laughs> there you go. Right, let's move on to the hint then, because it All seems right. like y'all could use it. Yeah. Right. Alice has the chance to ambush and kill Emperor Evils for good, but decides against it because she finds sneak attacks a dishonorable. Hmm. Well, I guess this trope has something to do with honor, then. I will give you that. I will give you that. It's close Whoa. to honor. That's not the correct answer, but... It does have something to do with honor. I gotta be careful with that, because if I accidentally say the answer, I didn't even buzz. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be careful with that. You have to. Um, if that's the case, I... What do you think it is? I'm just gonna jump in with this one and just say that they believe in putting honor before their actual mission. Um... Ow. Uh... I mean, I think that should actually, like, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. It's honor before reason, which is a character honor does something reason. unwise in the name of honor or virtue. But I feel like that's close enough. That's close oh, enough. okay. So, that's, also, th our, that's our three points for you. Just on the screen. What? Fuck. Y yeah, I was about to say, your camera's falling down. God, I suck <laughs> ass, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, but yeah, Exaggerated says Alice has a ridiculously specific code of honor to the point where she's almost ineffective as a hero. Which oh, is... Some, that's, uh, that's a shit ton of honor. Um, it's wow. probably a king of some sort. Uh, who knows? That reminds me of a very specific someone. <laughs> right, should we move on to the last trope of the round? Right, let's go on to trope number five. Downplay. This one is a bit tough. On their way to the big bat's lair, the heroes walk past a tower on the way there. This... This tells me nothing. Yeah? Why does this remind something off of the one move, or like one uh, game series? Uh, based on the movie. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what do you think the answer is? So... I don't think I'm right, obviously. <laughs> but, um... This kind of reminds me of, like... Because when I play video games, I explore everything, so I don't miss. So this seems like a trope where if you don't explore, you get destroyed in your destination. Uh, it does Something involve... Like it does involve a, uh, exploring. It does involve exploring. I won't give you a correct answer for that, but it does involve some sort of exploring. And it has something yeah. to do with towers. I, but, yeah... It's tower specifically, I guess so, but yeah, that's actually what I believe mm. in video games. I explore everything because who knows? Something you miss could be uh the final battle, battle. who knows? Yeah. Right. Does anyone else have an answer? 
No. Uh, no? No. I don't have enough info. Right. Let's move on to the straight one. I can't believe I got part of it. The big bat's lair is a tower. Uh, okay. That... I... <laughs> Why does it remind me of that one meme? <laughs> Now, they're on the- So they walked past the, ta <laughs> the big bad's lair? That's their destination, though. Dang, what do you think it is? <laughs> this reminds me of that one fucking meme of just... The fucking... Their lairs could be anywhere. The fucking... The evil lairs... The fucking lair is just a fucking massive ass... It, oh, <laughs> in the open fucking tower, just... Just in the open that you can Im just clearly see. <laughs> yeah. Well... And they're just like, they it could be anywhere. Yeah. It could be anywhere. It's not like I can see it. Yeah. Well, that wasn't that wasn't really an answer, but you just that you telling an a answer, meme. Though. But that Thank that is that is pretty funny. Answer, please? Yeah. <laughs> but they're on their way to the big bat's lair. In the first one, they they walked past the tower. In the second one, the the big bat lair's evil place is the tower. Just walk right past it. Not in the second one, because they have to go there if they're on their way to the big bass lair. What? <laughs> on the downplay, they pass the tower, but they don't go into it because that's not the big bad lairs. But the big bass lair is a tower, and they're heading over there because they need to go there. This is <laughs> confusing. Do you want the second one? The third one would be second. We have the second one. Yeah, the third one. Sure. This makes this Please. makes it super obvious. The entire story involves a tower climb. Bruh. <laughs> Does anyone want to buzz in? What the f I mean, it's obvious what they missed, but I don't know the trope. <laughs> I don't know the trope either. Me neither. Is, ah. it, is it really that tough? I don't know the trope. It's obvious they missed something, but what the fuck would the trope be called? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wanna? They didn't miss anything. We missed everything. Yeah. Y'all wanna? Y'all yeah. wanna take the L here? I'm taking the L. Y'all yeah. are taking the L. Yeah. Right. Well, it's the trope was it's all upstairs from here, and no matter the setting or plot, the hero and team will have to climb a large tower. That's a good. <laughs> this is the worst trope I've ever was, seen. Mm -hmm. I want to die. One. That's a good metaphor. And two. That did not. <laughs> <laughs> that did not match at all. No. <laughs> Hold on. I was like, uh, something else, and then saying the, 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 the more you can see its ass. I was confused <laughs> this entire time. Like, yeah, no, no, I, I, I found it confusing as well. Tower on their line, the big bad slayer. The big bad slayer is a tower. Yeah, no shit, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, it's it's like you're telling a super obvious story, and it's like, okay, but what's the point? Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> but the thing yeah. is, to get to the, you know, to get to the big bad slayer, they had to climb the tower. <coughs> so no matter the setting or plot, they will have to climb a large tower. Yeah, that's obvious, but that's <laughs> that doesn't match. The <laughs> well, I'm sorry, this was on the page. I just copy pasted. <laughs> Uh, maybe there's your fucking problem. You <laughs> copied and pasted. Goddamn. You know, a, be a better. Again, again, we should someone... say this is a pilot. Not everything is going to work entirely correctly. We're just testing the waters. What, you want, you want to know what would be a better metaphor? A man falls down the stairs, but his destination is on the top of the stairs. It's all upstairs from here. <laughs> there's your metaphor. Fix your sight. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. Well, should we move on to uh, should we move on to the next round, or the yeah. final round? In fact, actually, yeah, we're going on to the final round. Yeah, the final round is wiki what? what? Huh? Now, wait, wait, Victor, please for the video put John Chong going what? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> naked grandma, naked grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a good video. Naked, ha! That also comes from a fucking game show. Also, that voice crack was legendary. That is Family Feud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I meant. Anyways, yeah, the final round is Wiki What. So, this one should be pretty fun. I went on WikiHow, which hosts plenty of how-to oh. guides that are created and edited by volunteers. Oh, are we going to have to guess WikiHow? Therefore, it, it, it is being a sort of wiki. Some of the images used in the guides can be kind of strange or interesting. 
Wait, mate, if we have to guess Wiki how pictures, you don't even have to explain this round. Let's just go right into it. Well, for, for the boomers who are watching, I will show you some images out of context, and you will have to guess the name of the WikiHow article. For hints, I will first show the title of the step that the image is connected to, then I will show the full description. Five points without hints, three points for the title, and one for the description. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Y'all should yes. know how this goes. Right. Let's let the round begin with the first article. <laughs> what? Apple ID. Sign in with your Apple ID to use iCloud iTunes at the App Store. What do you more. think Password the WikiHow article <laughs> is? Derek, what do you think it is? <laughs> how to sign in to your Apple ID. Uh, it, it's not that specific, but I will give you that. The WikiHow article is how to log in. <laughs> So that's they right. use Apple? <laughs> they use Apple! That's five points for you. <laughs> okay, I logged in. How do I log out? How do I, I log, log out? out. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Again, we're, we're starting progressively easy and then climbing up. Oh. Right. Y'all ready for the second one? Uh-huh. All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think it is? Evan, what are you what is it? <laughs> Go ahead. No, my fuck. How to recover it. from your furry addiction. <laughs> <laughs> That's incorrect. Wait, wait. <laughs> what do you Evan. think it is? I I'll say my answer in a minute, but Evan, you buzzed. Literally milliseconds before I buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, but is this a, a WikiHow article of how to talk to girls? No, no. I, I'm thankful. Thankfully, it's not because this is not how you Imagine talk to girls. <laughs> she, it, like she might look happy on the outside, but internally she's like, "What the fuck is this fucking Steven Universe look-alike ripoff doing?" <laughs> Right, does anyone else have any guesses? We went from easy to moderate real quick. Yeah. <laughs> we went from zero to real quick. <laughs> Dank, what do you think it is? How to pick up a chick. <laughs> Again, <laughs> no. I just asked that, Dank. Uh, oh, you did, did fuck? I didn't even fucking listen. Right, do you all of want course. the title? <laughs> yes. oh. Right, I I'll give you the title. Six. Make random noises. Huh? Evan. I was about to say How that. to assert your dominance. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't I know mean, that, that would be, be good. good. That would be good. That would be a good one. That would be a good one. What just standing tall just... <laughs> I don't think he's saying that aggressively. I think he's like... Meow. 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 How does her dominance? Evan, what do you think it is? <laughs> How to become a furry. <laughs> no. No, it is not. It's not about fucking furries. It's not about furries. I'll say that. It's not about furries. <laughs> furries might do something akin to this, but it's not about furries. Derek. Uh, how to... Go ahead. How to uh, make friends as strange as you are? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is not. It's not about friendship. <laughs> uh, Aria, what do you think it is? Uh, how to be random? Correct! How to be <laughs> random! <laughs> Three points to you! Oh how my god. Aria's first points! <laughs> Why would you need instructions for how to be random? Bitch, I, I don't know. I just say some fine. random I'm shit. Bitch, what? Random. <laughs> You, all you need is 15 seconds of conversation with me, and you're per you're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. 15 seconds. Get less seconds than 15. Just do whatever. Just do whatever. <laughs> then you'll be good. Anyways, uh, you all want to move on to the next article? <laughs> yes! All right. Let's, let's go let's on. Let's move on before I lose any more brain right. cells. Right, here you go. What do you think this is? <laughs> Derek! <laughs> Go ahead! 
<laughs> the first thing is that came to mind is how to make breast milk. Don't no. <laughs> Why would you need a spoon for breast milk? You fucking dumb. No, it is not how to make how to get breast milk. Damn it! Because imagine that article. Aria. Don't use a spoon. How to incorrectly use a spoon? Um. Uh, I'll I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's how to hold a spoon. Oh! I'll give you. I'll give you that. It had something to do with spoons, so that's uh, that's five points for you, dude. Wiki, how is Wiki? How is this wasteland of Mad Max characters, and I love it. Yeah. Also, by the way, can I just say it? It says avoid pointing with your spoon, <laughs> bro. By the way, you do not make a point spoon. with a spoon. Victor, to my you. To my credit, all I saw was a spoon being pointed at tits with an axe. <laughs> that is, you don't make a point with a spoon. No, you don't, because you. Nor do no, you use a screwdriver. Cause, yeah, because you look. It's better to use a fruit tray. Because you, <laughs> yeah, because because otherwise you, yeah, you look you like use a fucking. Yeah, sausage. otherwise you'll look like a serial maniac, bro. A serial killer. Sorry, that was shit. Uh, should we move on to the next one? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, 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 someone might have a, uh, someone might like this. Uh, let's go on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing if you think you know the title. Derek, what do you think it is? Someone, was it me? Yeah, it was you. I thought, it didn't say buzzed for a second, so I thought someone did it before me. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think it is? So, I have two answers. I'm gonna go with the more safe for work one uh -huh. first. Uh -huh. How to give a foot massage. Incorrect. Damn it! Evan. <laughs> how to recognize you have a foot fetish. <laughs> I, w I, will, I will give you that. It's how to admit to a foot fetish. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, this you... please is the nut. Also, I will take that. Also, I why, 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 Dank, why do you have nut? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Get it away from my screen. <laughs> Victor, Victor, it pisses me off. I that will was admit. actually my second answer. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will take that. That was uh, five points to uh, Evan. You're fucking welcome, I Evan. will take that. <laughs> oh my fucking day. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking I will mind. Take that. <laughs> No, that's N is a W, please. <laughs> oh my fucking days! <laughs> oh, right, last last one here. <coughs> last article. This one is really tough. So, uh, yeah, you're you're probably not gonna get it from the first one, but I wish you good luck. Article five. That just looks like a family. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Evan, what do you think it is? Pillarman, how to become Jay Gatsby. No, <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> Good book, Derek. How to recognize you're a pimp. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> but I like that. Dank. How to acquire a harem. AKA a pimp. Uh, no, incorrect. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that, Derek. You can't do that. That was me, actually, not him. Oh well, again, team. Well, I didn't. I didn't have any say in the previous answer, though. Thinking. Well, you know, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give brain. you, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you, a, I'll give you a hint just so that you can answer. Wear smart, casual clothes when you go out for tea. Oh my god. Hmm. Now, Derek, what do you, Jimmy? What do you think the answer is? Well, my previous answer is definitely not it. Then. So, um, do you want to clear it? No, I, I can I can give an answer. All right, go ahead. How about how about how to make friends again? <laughs> no, incorrect. Damn it. <laughs> Evan, how to become refined? <laughs> incorrect. Fuck. How to become oh. a British person? I dare say, good fellow. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, you want to go out from some tea, can? <laughs> <laughs> Go to the conference with me at the local cafe! <laughs> uh, 
The and we lost all of our British viewers. <laughs> Do you all want Good. a description or does anyone Stop want to buzz in? Piss out of us later. Uh, give us. Continue. I have nothing. Okay, you want a description? All right. I, I got nothing. <laughs> Even though you don't need to dress to the nines, you shouldn't just show up in sweatpants and sneakers. Avoid wearing a full... Evan? How to go on a date? No. <laughs> Incorrect. Avoid Fuck. wearing a full suit since you're, you'll be overdressed. Although, it could be a date of some sort. As long as your clothes look neat and clean, you'll be fine for tea. Whether you're going for someone's, to someone's house or a formal team room, stick with something like a collared, collared shirt, a nice pair of jeans or trousers, and some dressier shoes. If you're a woman, wear a skirt or dress with a colorful print along with a pair of heels. Derek. Uh, <laughs> how to show up to work? <laughs> no. Again, this is tea. Do you want to try again? Tea. Um... Sure. Go ahead. So, this may sound obvious, just how to dress when you're going out for tea. I, 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 that's incorrect, but I will say it's tea in a specific location. Uh, you could uh -huh. also try wearing a knit sweater with some khaki pants and dress tea shoes. Shit? It's not a workplace. Uh, it's a city of some sort. Uh, Evan. A city? Right. <laughs> How to go out for tea in London. That is correct! How to drink tr tea like a true Londoner. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Evan, Evan, just because it was oh that tough... Oh my god, I'll, this really... I'll, this really was meant to get our British viewers out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I'll oh, give no, you two yeah, points for that, because I want to be nice, since it is a bit of a tougher okay. question. Uh, um, I hope this is actually fucking, fucking vodka. <laughs> yeah. Um... But yeah, that was the last round, and so I will count up the scores. So, in last place, we have... Dank, with three points. Although, you did guess something correct. Probably that anime... That, that, that anime... That anime watching uh, probably didn't help you that much, but there you go. I don't give two fucks. Hey, it, that's fair. That's fair. You don't give fucks. Uh, third place, we have... Aria, with eight points. And then... Hey, hey, hey Arya got some points on the board. Yeah, there you go. And we got a lot... Uh, she got a lot more points than we thought. Yeah, just from two rounds, by the way. I'm smart. <laughs> yeah, definitely sometimes. I'm smart, I'm dead. Shut the fuck up! And second place <laughs> is... Evan with 15 points, which makes Derek and Jimmy the winners with 19 <laughs> points! Congratulations, oh. Derek and Jimmy. You have won a trip to Death Valley, aka the most extreme place on Earth. I didn't know you would send him to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's in the middle of the hottest place in fucking United States, but hey. Well, that means I'll be fine. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do the outro. That's been the pilot episode for the wiki quiz. Thank you to my friends for wanting to join in, including Aria, who joined in a bit later, but at least wanted to join. I hope this was enjoyable to watch and play. Uh, and I, I wish- I Aria almost won by joining in in two rounds. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I hope it was enjoyable to play, because I had fun. It was. Yeah, I have fun. Yeah, uh, yeah and I hope it was hey, fun to watch, uh, even. Unpopular opinion. Better than Jack Jackboxes, you don't know Jack. Hey, hey, Jackbox, if you want to make this into an actual fucking game, hit me up, bro. Call me. Uh, <laughs> That's a million dollar deal, bro. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I hope that was enjoyable to, to watch. In Jackbox 9, Victor has full say in all the mini games. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool to work at Jackbox, but yeah, it probably won't happen. But. Anyways, yeah. yeah, thank you for watching, and I wish to see you all soon, either on our podcast, just general YouTube, or an actual episode of this show, because I feel like this might actually be really fucking good. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye! Bye!